What's up, YouTube? So, this the people in their industry may or may not agree with this, and um, and they may. So, people who come in typically to my center aren't regular maintenance type of people. That's just how it is in my location, um, and it may be that in many locations other than dealerships because they're commanded to come in uh, for maintenance. So, I'll give you an example. Saturday, yesterday, we had a lady come in with a Subaru with a hundred and twenty thousand miles on it, uh, V6. Cat efficiency code and oil change. Uh, well, her request was engine light was on and oil change. So we said, hey, let's you know scan it, diagnose it, what's going on. So I told her we can just do one converter. Um, and I like to do a fuel injection service. I pull the air filter box. That's nasty. So the regular place is not advising her or she's been neglecting it. I don't know what the true reason is. And then I suspect the cabin air filter was bad too i pull it out it's completely clogged so don't think you're getting what you think you're getting and what you need at your dealerships either because i, I assure you she was going to the dealer um and then now she's not um so we're moving on to hey i want to do a tune-up i want to do this i want to do that blah 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 so caleb's pulling the uh the, the uh, coils out of the engine and you can see how red these were at one time right so look from top to bottom Okay, top to bottom. So these were red all the way across. Look what the heat um, has done to the spark plug boots. What happens here is that these actually decay away. They will shrink um, and then become loose. So people say, oh, it just needs spark plugs. No, um, if the coil boots are bad, can consider these your ignition cables, okay? Just think of it that way. Um, if they are uh, available, then you should it's not should you have to replace the coil boots um i would say if it's got thirty thousand miles on the car you're probably okay 60 you're getting into a fail point 100 so on and so forth so when someone says that oh their car runs fine yeah this lady's car ran fine but she had a cat efficiency code on one side and not the other over a hundred thousand miles on the spark plugs but this is great because this is a good telltale uh like a temperature strip right you stick your temperature strip in the water and it changes colors well here you go it burnt the rubber so bad that it has discolored white. That's not just powder on here, all right? Then what happens is you get spark leak. Well, what do you think these things are? And they're in spark plug tubes that are metal. So even though it didn't misfire hard enough, it probably has been misfiring just so, so, ever so slightly with a spark leak uh, that it took the passenger side converter out before the driver's side. Um, so when everyone says, oh, my car runs fine, no, it does not run fine, or you wouldn't have a, a, a PO420 or a PO430, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, but I thought that this would be a good indicator to show people, hey, uh, it's more than just spark plugs uh, on your car. Thanks for watching.